It can take them two weeks to process a single meal. Mom's making the rounds to check on the other tadpoles she dropped off in other reservoirs. They are a formidable beast of prey whose fast-acting venom will literally burn through your flesh and cause you to bleed to death. What's happening guys, I'm your host Jared Bronstein and welcome back to another top 10 video here for you on Inform Overload. Today we'll be talking about the top 10 species that could go extinct if all of the Amazon rainforest were to burn down. Obviously something we need to be concerned about given that it's been burning for close to a month. But I don't think it's likely that we're gonna lose the entire thing anytime soon, so don't worry just yet. And if you're still worried, well I'd recommend subscribing to this channel so you guys can be cheered up with our videos on the daily. I'll be responding to some comments as well at the end of this one, but let's just go for it. Number 10, we got sloths. Who doesn't like sloths? They're cute, like, they're ugly cute, and they always look stoned. Just look at their face. They're also known to be lazy and just mope around like complete potatoes. So I don't know about you guys, but I like these things. Welcome to the potato family, sloths. It'd be a shame to see them go though, seriously. What's even more important is that the fungi found in a sloth's fur could have chemical properties in it that could help fight off disease like malaria and possibly breast cancer. So. Pretty important stuff. This is a three-toed sloth, a female, and she's ravenously hungry. Coming in at number nine, we got the Wasai tree root. Although they look to be very thin carrots of some sort, it's believed the roots of the wasai tree can actually be used as a diuretic and can also help cleanse your kidney. The way this is done is that the root is crushed up to a powder and then swallowed as a pill. I'm not sure if it's as effective when mixed in with a drink, such as a tea, or if someone were to snort it up their nose. I mean, maybe someone has tried it and didn't live to tell the tale. Either way, I would just stick to the pills if you want to cleanse your kidney, but we won't be able to see if the rainforest burns down, so let's just save our planet. And don't put anything up your nose. It's just things are supposed to come out of there. Number eight, what's some deem king of the jungle? We got jaguars. Now, I just want to do a quick note here. People always tell me I say it wrong. I say jaguars. People say it's jaguars. People say it's jaguars. I just say jaguars. I don't know. Am I saying it right or wrong? You guys gotta let me know in the comments down below how you say it. I just say jaguars. Like the football team, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not so much used by humans other than for their skin, which. It's like, come on guys. They still play a vital role in the health of the Amazon rainforest altogether. Being on the top of the food chain, these things eat majority of what's found in the rainforest, which means they're a big factor behind population control. Of course, if the Amazon rainforest were to completely burn down, I don't know how much we'd have to worry about population control because, well, I think it would lead to a lot of animals going extinct. But either way, these guys are vital in making sure we don't get overpopulated with other animals, which would have a ripple effect down the food chain. Safe to say, the jaguars are very important. Or jaguars are very important. How do I even say it anymore? Jaguars? Jaguars. That's how I say it. Now my favorite number, number seven, we got the green iguana. Now I'll be honest, the iguana's on here for one reason and one reason only, kids love them as pets. Of course there are tons of other animals and plant species, which are still to come on this list, that could potentially cure the likes of HIV AIDS and cancer, obviously more important than having a pet. But I was trying to make this list as diverse as possible and tried choosing 10 species that could affect everyone, regardless of age, gender, or location. So we got the green iguana, also known as just the iguana at number seven. These reptiles are herbivores and are quite friendly, which is why they're such a common household reptile. And honestly guys, like aside from a fish or a dog or a hamster, I feel like the iguana is a lot of kids, you know, first pets or at least first reptiles. I mean, I guess kids get like bunnies or guinea pigs before, but I don't know about you guys. Look, when I have a kid, I'd rather him have a pet iguana than a pet snake. Just me? Okay. Are you glad I'm home? Huh? Are you glad I'm home? Huh? Are ya? Are ya? Good. Are you hungry? At number six, we got cat's claw. And no, it's not literally the claw from a cat. It's actually a vine or a plant that resembles that of a cat's claw because it has hooked thorns. But this plant is actually extremely beneficial for us and if we were to lose it, we might lose out on some of the best medicine there currently is. Cat's claw has the ability to boost your immune system, relieve arthritis symptoms, and many believe it can combat the likes of cancer, anxiety, HIV, AIDS, and asthma, among many other viruses and diseases. A cat's claw is actually um, the bark 
of the inside bark of a woody vine that grows all over the Amazon. Coming in at number five, the poison dart frog. I mean, the name kind of gives it away. Obviously, this thing is poisonous. And although its defense mechanism is its skin, which can be deadly if touched, many indigenous tribes use the poison from these dart frogs to hunt animals. Unfortunately, again, if the entire Amazon rainforest were to burn down, well, these tribes would need to find new land to live on. But even if somehow they adapted and stayed, without poison dart frogs, they would need to find a new way to hunt for food. So it's safe to say these frogs are very beneficial for people who are trying to find food while living out in the Amazon. At number four, the Fed de Lance snake, also known as a lance head snake, which I feel like I said wrong in the French term. I always, I never did well in French. I took like applied in high school. These snakes have an insanely toxic venom that could lead to infection, possible amputation, and worst case, death. Their venom spreads through your cells and blood vessels, causing swelling, blistering, and possibly destroying tissue. But the good thing is that their venom is also known to have a compound that is used in Captopril, a medicine that has been in use since 1980 that can help reduce blood pressure and treat heart failure. Definitely something of use to us, especially considering how one in three Americans are known to have high blood pressure, which can put you at risk for heart disease and stroke. Getting into the top three, at number three, the Amazon River Dolphin, also known as the Pink River Dolphin because, well, they are just that, pink. These beautiful creatures indicate the river health in the basins where they are known to live. It is fair to say some could be gray or off-white, but a lot of them are actually a bright pink. If the population of the river dolphin is in abundance, it's a clear indication that the water is fresh and flourishing. However, if their population is low or on the decline, it could be considered a red flag for the entire ecosystem. So it's definitely vital that these guys continue indicating the status of natural waters. Otherwise known as the pink river dolphin. Pink river dolphins are sometimes pink because their capillaries are close to their skin. At number two, a plant that could cure addiction, Solanaeum douglasi, also known as Soto for short, is an aromic plant that allegedly cures addiction to alcohol and cigarettes. Clearly a game changer because in the US, the top two leading causes of death are heart disease and cancer, both things that can come from consumption of alcohol and cigarettes, more likely to affect those who are, of course, addicted. Although the US government wouldn't like Americans losing their addictions, I'm sure the people of America wouldn't mind, and if this plant could help you lose addiction, well, I'm all for it. At number one, Lapico, or Lapicho. Not really sure how to properly say the name, unfortunately. Although nothing has been proven just yet, many believe this plant could actually cure cancer. It's been used for years as a herbal medicine by indigenous people to treat things like infection, fever, and stomach aches. It's also believed to help with diabetes, hernias, wounds, joint pain, and bronchitis. Clearly, this is a plant that holds many medicinal benefits. In regards to curing cancer, the American Cancer Society claims, I quote, available evidence from well-designed controlled studies does not support this substance as an effective treatment for cancer in humans, end quote. Yet many believe it can be used as a cure. Maybe more research can be done and we'll find out once and for all if it really can be. And that does it for the top 10 species that could go extinct if the Amazon rainforest were to burn down. You guys gotta be sure to let me know in the comments down below which one of these species you think is the most important to us as humans. For now, let's respond to some comments from the video, woman is rescued from septic tank gross, after being stuck for three days. Vladdy the Instagram baddie said, can you do an IO with all the IO hosts? Who would you guys consider IO hosts? Just myself and Charlotte or like Johnny, Charlotte, Joss, who? Rebecca? You guys gotta be more specific. And to answer your question, probably not cause like the frame's only so wide. I don't even know if my hands are still in frame. But you guys could see this is it. Chloe Dressler said, that's how I want to die, in a septic tank, be a pretty, Death, if you ask me. I don't know how I'm so good at bad jokes. Like, I'm, I'm nowhere near being a father, yet somehow I just, I slay with these jokes. Exit Slyle said, every time I watch, I hope it's Charlotte. Well, you're definitely gonna be let down with this one. And that does it for this video, guys. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. As always, be sure to give us a like, share the video with a friend if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe. Follow the entire IO team on Instagram, as well as IO's official Instagram. And again, you guys can let me know in the comments down below which number on this list you think is the most important for us humans, and which you like the most. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, bye, take care.